yung 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 pinakaroon ni Saloneta eh, maraming mga prohibitions eh. Walang pandila, walang ganito, walang ganon. Sino dumalo? Ano sabi mo sana? Sana walang prohibitions na ganon. Sharian Torres, ABC News. Gillette's wife's half conversation on the ZT bribery scandal has surfaced on YouTube. And then, a certain Joey, a certain June, talk about the huge demand for kickbacks of a certain gatekeeper of folks correspondent faith on this. And that's all. It's supposed to be a phone conversation between a man named June with a man named Joey, posted just yesterday on the popular website YouTube by a member named Tusong Baboy who curiously only joined the website yesterday. But if that were not intriguing enough, the contents of the conversation were even more colorful. Well, he's not from this thing, and uh, he's, uh, he's the gatekeeper of the boat. I can understand, but not that I'm out. Oh, yeah, it's too big, it's too big. It's too big, it's too big, it's too big, it's too big, it's too big. Two people complaining about someone who was asking for a large amount and that someone supposedly was a gatekeeper of votes. Joey De Venecia, the first ZTE whistleblower, says he's not yet sure, but the man named Joey could be him. He remembers talking about these things to people like former NEDA chairman Romo Luneri and, of course, June Lozada. So I need to listen to it. I haven't heard what, what, the, what discussion I had. If that was me, who was I talking to and what discussion? But well, what were the dynamics? So I need to YouTube. Still, De Venecia says he was almost certain that this was a wiretap by Malacanang, specifically by former Comedic Chairman Benjamin Abalos, who he says has earlier bragged to him that he had De Venecia's phones bugged. I know Chairman Abalos. Abalos and the wiretap. That's the only, he's the only guy who told me one wiretap, my phone. I don't know what's wrong with that one, it's, um, two of them points to the, the one that I think. The Venetia also recalls having discussed a 130 million kickback allegedly being asked by Avalos with Neri and Lozada. Avalos wanted me to do was to uh, basically buy equipment from ZTE right but part of the equipment will be what you call soft money which is really meaning no equipment but it will be booked like was, there was a sale of equipment malacanang however distanced itself from the recording executive secretary eduardo ermita said the conversation is just proof that the venecia and losada are trying to set up the government Mahabwas lang sa buong senaryo para mapapaniwala ang maraming tao na lahat na sinasabi nila totoo. But for now, no one is really sure if the men in the recordings were the Venecia or Lozada, or if it was really a wiretap recording at all. Faye Tobias, ABC News. Next on Central, General Espinon starts touring military camps, and Obama widens his lead over Hillary.